Ici Shakur, on se retrouve pour Walking Dead, je mets le petit timer, j'espère que vous allez bien, donc c'est la partie 4 de l'épisode 1, donc pour que je vous ai pas encore expliqué comment ça se passait, donc c'est la saison 1, il y a 5 épisodes, plus le DLC qui s'appelle 400, 400 jours, hop, je vais mettre Alt Shift et je vais avancer, bon, on va aller à Glen un peu, voir ce qui se passe. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Donc Glenn veut partir à Atlanta. Et c'est là que ça va s'entrecouper sûrement avec la série. Euh, parce que bah, dans la série, là, on le retrouve à Atlanta. C'est d'ailleurs lui, enfin dans la vraie série, euh, c'est lui qui sauve Rick au tout début. Ok. Euh... On fait ce qu'on a à faire. Et je dois faire ça. Je respecte ça. Vous gars, soyez sûrs. On va essayer. Et Lee, vous savez, si ça ne devient pas mieux, les gens vont se donner. Si la fille vient de l'upstairs. Vous allez juste les laisser Vous avez dit à Carly de lui donner le gun. Oui, je l'ai dit. Peut-être que vous êtes right. Je ne sais pas comment gérer quelque chose comme ça. Moi je pense que lui avait raison parce que de la pitié, de l'humanité, ça fait pas de mal, surtout par les temps qui courent. Hein. L'humanité c'est bon quand même. Parce que bon, la pauvre elle sera transformée en mangeuse de, mangeuse de chair humaine là. Puis surtout elle s'en sera jamais. Elle sera jamais rassasiée. Hey kid, close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay. Bon, je pense qu'il faut qu'on fasse un peu un tour du propriétaire, parler à tout le monde. Attends, allons voir Carly. Elle doit être triste parce que j'ai choisi entre elle et Doug. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Non, on a pas pu. Pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that. Je pense que j'aime bien. Tout ira bien. Oui, bien sûr. Je préfère être seul, je pense. Je comprends. Attends, Lee. Qu'est-ce que c'est Comment tu as choisi Nous avons besoin de toi. Tu as choisi moi. Parce que tu as des boobs. Euh... I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it here. Do you never pay attention to what you need? Can you just look over there? Everything we own will be lost if I left me alone. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. Salut, papi. Bonheur. Tu le vois Tu le vois celui-là Hein Hey Duck, vous avez loupé quelque chose. Je vous en parle après ce dialogue. Non, ce n'est pas ça. J'ai été grabé de nouveau. Je ne suis pas là, mais je me suis levé. Et mon walkie-talkie a brûlé. Glenn avait l'autre. Oh, je suis désolé. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? 
Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. <laughs> or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Attends, mais toi, je te laisse crever dès que je peux, enfoiré. Oui, j'ai une seconde. Lily. Hein, C'est facile de parler dans le dos, mais quand elle est là, tu dis rien. Hein. Elle est où la hache Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Okay. <rire> ah bah merde Ah bah merde La prochaine fois sur Walking Dead Ah d'accord c'est la fin de l'épisode 1 Vous inquiétez pas on va continuer l'épisode 2 direct Je veux que vous ayez ça, ok En cas où vous ou Clementine se sentent weak. Vous ne connaissez pas quelque chose, Carly Comment vous allez faire avec Clementine I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was a bitch. You went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. <laughs> Ça me fait tellement marrer quand il y en a un qui, qui joint comme ça. Alors, honnêteté, mentir à Herschel, vous et 63% des joueurs a dit la vérité, d'accord. Duck ou Sean Ouais, ben non, Duck normal. Kenny, euh, faut se rallier à lui, moi je pense que c'était une bonne idée, euh, parce que euh, il est... Il est cool. Pistolet donné à Irene. D'accord. Il y en a c'est des bâtards. Hein, n'est-ce pas Il n'y en a pas cette div qui voulait pas gâcher une balle On s'en prend, on s'en prend là. Une balle, tu crois que... De toute façon, c'est une, une plus, plus ou moins une balle, on s'en fiche, hein, parce que des zombies, il y en a plein. Donc de toute façon, ça pourra te sauver la vie pour 5 minutes, mais après, euh, bah, ça changera rien. Donc euh, autant, euh, autant être un peu humain pour, euh, pour changer. Et Doug et Carlet, Carlet, normal. Doug est moche. Allez, hop, hop, hop. Voilà. Euh, merde, continue. On peut pas passer ça Eh bien les amis, on se retrouve euh, au début de l'épisode de... A tout de suite on, de... on a le, le petit résumé de Prayers oh, on the Walking Dead. You've been all by yourself through this Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, 
You watch your ass. You watch your ass. Your ass. Ce jeu s'adapte au jeu. L'histoire évolue en fonction du. Alors ça, j'ai appris que l'histoire euh, évoluait, mais pas euh, la trame principale n'évoluait pas vraiment en fait. On reviendra toujours aux mêmes, euh, aux mêmes, euh, bah, aux mêmes actions, aux mêmes trucs, euh, même si il est, euh, comment dire, l'interaction avec les autres personnages ne sera pas la même. Par contre, Et on commence là direct. Allez. <rire> Dans ta face, ça t'a calmé là. Salut lui. How are you? I'll be la dernière fois. Qui c'est sûr? Damn it. What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Ah, je me rappelle, lui, il est super cool. Euh... Camille nous abandonne pas. Je me rappelle plus son nom, mais je me rappelle qu'il est super cool. Vous voyez Larry se faire avec ce vieux gars Il me semble qu'il a un problème avec vous en particulier. Mais c'est un connard, l'autre le, le, le vieux là. Il pense que je suis un danger pour le groupe et Clementine. Ah, c'est Marc. Je pense qu'il est celui qui nous a mis en danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Oh putain, fait chier. Ça me ferait chier de niquer une balle pour. Là, par contre, ça me ferait chier de niquer une balle pour un corbeau. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. The bird's not worth it. Well, uh, yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Je comprends, je comprends, mon pote, mais bon, ça vaut pas le coup. Oh! Uh! <sighs> Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Putain, il m'a fait flipper, j'ai cru que c'était l'oiseau qui faisait ce bruit là. Je me suis dit, what, what the fuck is going on Attendez, je bouge un peu mon casque. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Ah, Travis, maybe they off. can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck On is there a bear you. trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. Plus de toi, tu vas jamais survivre. Try to shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Euh, il était mordu. Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. 
Ouais, génial, il y a les marcheurs qui se ramènent. Ah, c'est pour attirer. C'est parti. Désolé. Non, t'es. <rire> Ça fait mal, hein. C'est bon, on y est, on y est. Un petit dernier coup là. Ah, enfin. Allez, c'est le moment de l'emmener là. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. Alors lui c'est vraiment un gros gland. Adieu. Oh dans la tête en plus. So what can do? Alors, nous avons un nouvel arrivant avec nous, Ben. Ben. Ça a l'air un peu tendu au camp là. Hein. Un tout petit peu. C'est bien par contre, j'ai pas eu besoin de mettre le patch. Euh, il a été installé directement par Steam donc c'est bien. Ils sont... Parce que je sais que Dark Funeral, quand il avait fait le jeu, vu que je regardais à l'époque où il a fait, enfin, j'ai pas tout regardé, mais je vais regarder, je crois, le 1, l'épisode 1 et puis le début du 2, il me semble. Ou le 2, tout aussi avec. Mais pas le, la suite, j'avais pas vu. Donc je disais, euh, il fallait qu'il installe les patchs, lui. Pour euh, avoir, pour avoir les, les, les sous-titres. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, uh. come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. 
It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. <laughs> you know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Je crois que je vais, je vais choisir euh, Lee parce que euh, Kenny. Parce que quand tu fais un groupe comme ça, s'il n'y a qu'une personne combined. qui prend les décisions, yeah, comme Rick dans la série, bah ça part tout en couille. Donc, il faut être plusieurs à décider. Il faut se mettre d'accord, mais il faut discuter. Il ne faut pas être euh, « Ouais, toi, tu fais ça, toi, tu fais ça. » Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. Va te faire toi, putain, tu l'as cette salope. You know what? Hein? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Ah ok. Bon déjà j'en donne pas au vioc. Euh, tu as seulement quatre morceaux de nourriture pour 10 personnes affamées. Oh putain oui. C'est pas des morceaux de nourriture, ça. Il y a un bout de bacon, une demi-pomme euh, et de, des trucs là. Euh, alors, Marc, les deux enfants et j'en donnais à Marc déjà parce qu'il a apporté beaucoup de nourriture au groupe. J'en donnais aux deux enfants et j'hésite entre Kenny et sa femme. Je pense que si je donne à sa femme, il... ouais, je pense que je vais prendre, je vais donner à sa femme, tiens. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Bien sûr. Bien sûr. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Ouais. J'avoue que ça doit être... Euh... Well, you've ah. done all you can, Lee. Thanks vraiment bizarre, euh, vraiment bizarre de couper une jambe à quelqu'un. I need a little space here anyway. Ok. Bon, bah, vous voulez pas de la bouffe Je vais donner à Duck, à Clémentine, à Marc. Tiens, prends la bouffe, Clémentine. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chaque fois, okay. Bon, un petit peu de bouffe pour Clem. Hop. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Bon, comme vous le savez, euh, donner cracker ses fromages. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> keep that in mind. Ouais, ouais. Food, ouais, t'inquiète, yeah, t'inquiète. Du calme, toi, oh. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Euh. Bon, on va lui donner les crackers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Je pense que je vais en donner à Carly. Non, quoi que non, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, il est très important, lui. Hop, mec. Bourse, morceau de pomme. Something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. M'en fous s'ils ont vu que j'avais nourri Kenny. Bon, il me reste plus qu'un bout, qu'un qu truc. Euh... Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Ah parce que j'aurais pu le garder pour moi en plus. Merde, je peux passer par où là. Je vais voir comment ils ont l'air. Euh... Like Bien sûr que j'ai des préférences. Ça t'a dit comment t'es une connasse avec ton père là Oh. Euh... Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <rire> Quel enfoiré celui-là. Tiens, mange. 
Here, eat something. Un morceau de bœuf Need session. any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Je la donne à Mark, hein, rien à foutre, hein. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, come on, man, give it a rest. rest. You I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. Puis en plus, right c'est le, le bon vieil américain là, et il y a un black so en face de lui, un black qui a tué quelqu'un en plus. On ne connaît work. pas du tout les, les raisons pourquoi, enfin on connaît vite fait les raisons, mais ça se trouve il y en avait d'autres, hein. s'il ne le regrette pas du tout, donc à mon avis, euh, mon avis quand tu tues quelqu'un qui couche avec ta femme, au bout d'un moment tu regrettes, ou il faut vraiment être con, enfin d'avoir tué quelqu'un, hein, pas, pas parce qu'il avait couché avec ta femme, ça c'est logique que te, tu réagisses, mais... mais euh, Not such an easy job, is it? Si, easy. Easy caramel, easy caramel. Désolé, It's Charlie. Okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Ouais, je sais. Mais je pense que tu avais l'air assez bien encore. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Putain, t'imagines du son risque de ça? Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people Charlie, like this, and donne -moi, donne -moi ton this group je, je right tue comme ça, et You're ça one to talk, moi. old man. Yeah, well I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ouais, faut qu'on le tue du coup. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Uh, let's let him go, Kaja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Parce que c'est que la matinée là. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. But what about the other kid? <rire> Allez, éclate plus la face. Oh, il l'a raté. S. Aïe. Shoot it. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. On est tous infectés. We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! 
Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Uh, we don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Yeah. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay, on va aller à la ferme. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? No, I see. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. J'ai bien fait de la sauver. Je suis content de moi. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Grandi à Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Who's running things over there? C'est une démocratie. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Hmm. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. What the no hell? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. They and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Tell. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more. He ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Liquor. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Il y avait son arbalète là. Moi j'aurais bien, bien aimé la prendre, sa, sa petite arbalète. Eh 
Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh putain. Uh... Ever have any accident? accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Hmm. We all we'll work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A uh... vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Il est trop chelou, lui, euh, Danny, hein. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. See you later, alligator. Mark, Lee, okay. why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can. C'est beaucoup beaucoup de d'histoire pour ce, cet épisode. Peut-être qu'on va avoir un peu plus d'action dans l'épisode prochain. Bon, en tout cas, je vais arrêter ici. On est quand même quasiment à 40 minutes d'épisode. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Donc, fin de l'épisode 1, début de l'épisode 2. Et puis, bah, on se retrouve dans la prochaine partie, la partie 2 de l'épisode 2. Ciao tout le monde. Mm.